this point, fog is about the only thing you have to think about on the roads this morning. We're seeing that fog thicken up towards uh, Frederick, where the visibility is down to a quarter mile. Also, Westminster visibility dropping to close to two miles. And we're also seeing some fog popping up west of BWI, mainly out towards Laurel. Also, some fog in Cecil County. So, the bottom line is on some of the local roadways could be harder to see. So far, the rain is really holding off for most of the metro. We had a few light showers come through Baltimore County over the last hour. Those are now up into Pennsylvania. More rain showers in western Maryland, but we're getting a lull right now closer to Baltimore. That will change later today as more thunderstorms roll through. Right now, it's 76 downtown, 72 at the airport, Aberdeen at 72, and parked in 71. Very high humidity out there. That's part of the reason why we're getting the fog. It's also going to make things still sticky by the afternoon. We expect temperatures to climb into the upper 80s in downtown Baltimore, 87 for Towson, and near 90 along parts of the eastern shore, parked in a high of 85 degrees today. But later this afternoon, some of the storms could be on the strong side. Similar to yesterday, they could bring very strong winds, enough to cause some damage, and also some heavy downpours. And it's anywhere in this yellow shading that you see here, which basically includes anywhere in the state of Maryland, east of the mountains. So Frederick, Washington, Baltimore, Elkton, Easton, and Ocean City, those main cities all under the threat for strong thunderstorms later today. Any time after 12 p.m. will put us in that severe threat. Future cast in motion here shows most of the showers in western Maryland this morning, but we start to see them creep over the mountains and turn into thunderstorms during the afternoon. So here's a snapshot at 5 p.m. where those storms are really bearing down on the 95 corridor with strong winds and also heavy rain. As the evening goes on, a lot of the storms shift east, getting towards Easton and even Kennedyville, and that's where they'll continue to have heavy downpours and continue over the same area. So this zone here, the eastern shore, could be especially at risk at flash flooding later today. Some of these storms could easily drop about two to three inches of rain. Now, things are all going to change. A cold front sweeps by tonight. Behind it, cooler and drier air. We'll really look forward to this break after this rough weather we've had the past couple of days. So, 81 for the high tomorrow. That's a nice change. 80 on Thursday. The nights get cool. We're talking 50s by Thursday morning, which puts us close to record lows. We'll see a little bit of rain left over early tomorrow, but for the most part, dry through Thursday.